Hello everyone, uh, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team and today I'm going to talk about a feature that we have released as part of uh, Cloud Application Integration January 2020 release uh, where we can restart a process from the Application Integration Console. So let's look at this new feature. So like I mentioned, uh, with January 2020 release you can restart a process from the process listing page. This process listing page can be either from the My Processes, which is the developer perspective within the process designer, or it could be from the Application Integration Console service. Uh, there are certain restrictions on who can perform this role, and that's purely based upon the use case. So the first restriction is that a process can only be restarted by the users which have admin or operator role. A typical use case is that you have multiple jobs running in production as part of production deployment and one or more of these jobs fail in the production run and uh, administrator and the operator who is managing the system does not have a fair idea on what the logic is and why certain things failed and they also want to have a very easy mechanism to at least do one retry of a failed process or a faulted process and being able to figure out if things are fine now if the issues were intermittent in the first place so it's extremely useful to debug an instance uh, failure uh, with a specific input and uh, that's where it's going to be used the most. Uh, and there are certain prerequisites for this feature. Uh, the process should have run at least once on the cloud server or on the agent. That's the first prerequisite. And for a process to be restarted, it should be in one of the following states. It should be either completed or it should be faulted or it should be suspended. Uh, we also expect the tracing level of the process to be set to normal or verbose uh, to be able to perform a process restart and if a process contains attachment then we also want the persistence level to be uh, of type full or persist. So these are some of the restrictions that we have uh, in terms of uh, which process can be restarted. So before I move into the demo uh, I also want to show you some of the resources that you can use uh, uh, and learn more about this feature. So you have your very own Informatica documentation available at this uh, link uh, as given on the screen. You can use this link uh, to get more details as to how the feature really is implemented and how it should be used. But beyond that, if you have any questions and queries, you can always refer to Cloud Application Integration Community, uh, which is the place where you can seek information by asking questions or you can search for collateral. Either you can look for KBs and video articles or how to documents to uh, get your answers. With that, let me give you a brief demo of this feature. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. So let me log in first. And let's open a process that we want to execute. So I'm going to execute a process called CI process demo. Uh, this process uh, is a REST based process uh, and requires authentication. Uh, it requires two input fields called item name and item count and it gives out the transaction cost and the status as output for this particular process. Uh, let's also look at uh, any invocations of this process prior under the My Processes page. Uh, as you see here, there is nothing that we have listed here. Uh, let's fire this process by getting the endpoint information and then calling this with the right details. So I'm calling it with the item name as item 1 and item count equal to 2 and uh, this process completed successfully. If I were to go to the my processes page and look at the process listing I should see a process completed. What you would also see here is that there's an additional icon uh, in the process listing page for this process where you can restart this process and when you click on the restart it's going to start a new process instance which also finished successfully. Now it doesn't really show much uh, when the process is already complete successfully but if the process is faulted um, and let's try that scenario as well so let's give it an item name which does not exist in the inventory and as you would notice that the process faulted here let's look at the process listing and you will see the process is faulted 
uh, if a process is faulted you can still restart a process uh, click on restart it will start up a new instance but even this will fault because it is going to accept the same inputs and the inputs uh, is what was causing the failure uh, or the fault of a process in the first place but if your process had faulted because of intermittent issues uh, and when you restart them and those issues are gone then this process would have succeeded or completed successfully so it's really useful feature uh, it's very useful for administrators and operators uh, because now they can perform a restart and uh, hope that the intended issues have been resolved and that uh, the process or the production jobs have uh, will be completed successfully so thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it uh, stay tuned for more thank you